Okay, dear. So at first, I would like to give you a very short review on uh, previous classes, uh, previous class basically. And I give you a recorded video that that was actually uh, entity relationship and uh, the basic understanding of the entity. You know, the concept of an entity, I think most of you know the entity because we all are the entity, like say this pain is entity, mobile is entity. And in your Java programming, maybe you heard the name as a object, right? So actually entity is a kind of object, right? You know, uh, very well. So dear, uh, if I tell you an entity may be a, an object class or person or place, you understand even a department is entity because a department, you can present the department. So because a student is an entity because a student has a, a what? A student has an ID, name, phone number. So these are the actual attributes. These are the called the attributes. So entity must be represented using the attribute. I think things is very clear to all of you. So now let's talk about the weak entity. What, what does that mean? If, if an entity it depends on the other entity, then the dependable entity is called the weak entity. For example, if you take loan from the bank, then you have to uh, pay the installment. Because if you don't take loan from the bank, then installment uh, actually, it is not, it's not valid to uh, pay, right? So without loan, installment is basically Invalid. So installment is paid by you if you only uh, take the loan from the bank. I think things is very clear. So again, I'm telling you that when an entity depends on depends on an another entity, in that case, it is called the weak entity. So you know the attribute. For example, student is, is an entity, so it has a Properties or something like this, and that is the basically attribute ID, name, age. It could be blood group, uh, then gender, whatever it is. So these are the attribute. So I mean, the way you present the entity, that is the attribute. So there are different um, attribute. Uh, like one of the example is that the composite attribute. If you talk about the composite attributes, but I, I don't actually uh, tell you in details because this is uh, just a short review. So composite attribute. If a name, so it has also other like a first name, middle name, and last name. So in that case, it is a composite attribute. And the, when we talk about the multiple attribute, one of the example, a student has a multiple phone number. So if an attribute has a multiple value, in that case, it is called the multi-valued attribute. Yeah. So sometimes multi-valued attribute is, is needed uh, to apply. It depends on the real life uh, situation. So now let's talk about the derived attribute. What's the derived attribute? Once an attribute value, you can get from the another attribute. And in that case, that's sir, the derived hello. Oh, sir. Yeah, you can ask me. Sir, phone numbers are multiple uh, attributes. Are tell, sir, address key tell, sir, multiple ad uh, even, uh, attributes. No, 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 no. Because, no, no, no. You have a one address, but in many cases, you have a more than one phone number. Right. Sir, the address to sir, 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 and your office phone number. In that case, even it is not a multi-value attribute. Once your personal phone number is more than one, because you have to store more than one value in a single attribute. In that case, it, it is a multi-value attribute. But if you write, a, let's say, my foreign office address, my current office address, my permanent office address, because you define three. In that case, it is not a multi-value attribute. OK, again, uh, things is clear to you. OK, dear. Let's say. Uh, student, right? Let's say if you write here the personal phone number. Let's say if you write here office phone number. So if you have a 01712, so office phone number 02568, it is not a multi valued attribute. Why? Because you take these two in a different, uh, as a different attribute. But if you write your personal phone number 01712 and 01 okay 0 
one six two four nine because same two phone number you are trying to store in a single against the single attribute in that case it is a multi-minute attribute i think now clear yeah in case of address permanent address right and your current address so this is the multiple attribute because you it is considered in a separate way so that's why it is not a multiple attribute now clear is yes, it sir. clear okay now we are talking about the relationship you know the relationship yes, means like a man okay uh, in case of the relationship, a man marry a woman if a, only woman is marry in context of in our bangladesh religious point so it is a one to one a man marry a girl right so on but now you can say sir a man we can marry uh, more than one or four in that case it is one to many right but in context of female yeah in in our culture in our culture a female marry only uh, female one female can marry only one male in the current time again i'm telling you but if he or uh, he died or uh, her husband died in that case uh, can marry uh, another but in a single time at a time a um, girl marry a man only one man right so in that case it is called one to one relationship but at a time a male can marry more than one so it is called one to many so this is the difference between one to one and one to many i think things is very clear so this is short review i don't like to give you more example and many to one relationship student and all courses you know in my courses there are many students but against my one course so against the one course you all are belongs to this uh database design so in that case it is called many to one relationship and many to many relationship uh, for example employee and project in organization there are many project so in a i employee is assigned more than one project in that case it is called many to many because you have a many project so same employee can be assigned more than one project right that's why it is called many to many relationship so the basic understanding of the simple your diagram this is your student and that is your entity and college that is the another entity so how you can link that there is a relation that is called the study so it must be a verb so student study in a college so now let's talk about the key in which context you can say the key okay dear key that is actually you can also say that in context of the attribute basically attribute yeah so i am yes, talking sir. about the key and that is basically attribute why let's say a student right a student uh, it is a entity so you can represent the student using id phone number an id right then driving license then blood group then name right so dear these all are the what these all are the attribute or you can also say the key but there is a difference between key and attribute that's what we are going to talk but in a very simple way the key it is also attribute but there is a difference and that difference now you can c right and you will be given the correct information regarding key and attribute so i mean amra ekhane key ebong attribute ta ke kibhabe present korchi so but first amra dekhi je key ebong attribute er basic concept so now you can see so the you you got the idea je key ta attribute theke ashbe key ta kotha theke ashbe attribute theke ashbe tar mane egulai hobe key right egulai hobe key ekhon a key gula ke our there are uh, four types of key you can see if you look at this diagram what you can see uh, below here you can see so primary key candidate key super key and foreign key but what is the difference between this is tamane e je ja dekhchi shobai ki kintu e gula ko bibhinno bhage bhag koreche kon ta ki dhoroner ki so there are four types of key primary candidate super and what's the primary key actually before understand the primary key we have to under, understand the first super key i think uh, that's better uh, from the if we start from the super key right that would be the so dear would like to start from the uh, super key okay let's start 
Now, super key is a set of attributes, right? I think you got that. Which can uniquely identify a top one. Super key is a super set of candidate key. Okay, that's the different issue. But first, let's start with the super key. Is a set of an attribute. That's enough. Our money key was it so? Je kato gulu attribute hai chhe super key. Kali jodi tumak ami bolii. Je in this example, what is the super key? Kato gulu attribute hai chhe super key. From this example, kali ekhon super key kiki hote pare. Par ekta katha bolse, which can uniquely identify a tuple. Ekhon ekhon jamle lagi diye chhe. Kali ki name te kia rasbe. Because you know, uh, let's say uh, if I give the example, let's say name, uh, name you can identify a student uh, with a name because uh, there are two students, let's like, say Muni Rakta, right? There are two students, let's like, say Rashad Hussain. So uh, on more than one student, I can find with the name of Rashad Hussain. So in that case, sir, I did this yes, differentiate Kurbo sir. It is yeah, you can yeah. name down. You can, uh, You can also differentiate using the their NID, their passport number, their license number, right? So, but with the blood group, can you identify? No, because no, your blood group is a B positive. Your friend's blood group uh, might be B positive, so you can identify uniquely. In that case, uh, which uh, can identify uniquely. In that case, we say a set of attribute, but which can uniquely identify a tuple. So what that does that mean that tuple tuple uh, money key actually tuple holo aketa row. Amader table le aketa row ke amra tuple bolii. So aal amra uh, super key ta I think I uh, think is very clear. Super key hote tomar thoro je ekta entity jato gula activity se shab gula super key tobe je gula diye entity ke uniquely identify kora jay shi gula jaman ekhane mona koro. एमप्लय नेम सुपर की हम क्योंकि रिपीट होते This all of the attribute for employee, right? This all of the attribute, okay? This all of the super key. This all are basically super key, right? But among the super key, to me, Jay can act a key key primary key. I mean, Jay super key. That our key budget is Jay key. The unique and different one. Jack one. Let's say you are getting something. Or you are IDS phone number. Let's say you are an IDS. Jack one. তোমাকে তিনটা দিয়ে ইউনিট ক্যান ডিফাই করা যায় এখন তিনটা তো আমার প্রয়োজন আই নিড অনলি ওয়ান সো হুইচ ওয়ান আই ওয়ান্ট কনসিডার আইডি ফোন অর এন আইডি ইজ ডিফেন্স অন দা ডেটাবেজ অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেটর ইট ডিফেন্স ধরো এখন তুমি আইডি নিয়ে এসো তাহলে ফারস্টে কি এই সবগুলো ছিল সুপার কি ফারস্টে সবগুলো ছিল কি সুপার কি এখন আইডিটা তুমি যখন নিয়েছো তাহলে আইডি হয়ে যাবে প্রাইমারি কি যেটা তুমি নিবে সেটা প্রাইমারি কি আর বাকি যেগুলো থাকবে সুপার কি থেকে বাকি যেগুলো থাকবে সেগুলো হলো ক্যান্ডিডেট কি তোমার কাছে তিন ধর তুমি এইভাবেই লিখলে লেখছ ধরো তোমার কাছে এন আইডি আছে ফোন নাম্বার আছে পাসপোর্ট নাম্বার আছে এখন তুমি বলো যে ফোন নাম্বার দিয়ে আমি মানুষকে আইডি দিতে করব তাহলে ফোন নাম্বার প্রাইমারি কি হবে আর বাকি যে দুটো থাকবে এই দুটো হবে তোমার ক্যান্ডিডেট কি লেখছ এটা তোমার আইডি এখন আর তোমার ফোন নাম্বার হলো 0172456 এখন তুমি বলো তোমার ফোন নাম্বার কেন প্রাইমারি দিবে না কেন এটা এটাকে প্রাইমারি দিবে হ্যাঁ এখন একটা এটা এই জন্য ডিবি এটা চুজ করে এটার জন্য গ্লোবালি কোনো ডেফিনেশন দিয়ে দেয়নি যে এইভাবে করলে হবে কিছু কিছু জায়গায় ফ্লেক্সিবল থাকতে হয় আমাদের থিওরিক্যাল কোন স্ট্যান্ডার্ড ডেফিনেশন এখানে দেওয়া যাবে না এই কারণে একটা ইউনিভার্সিটি মনে করলো আমরা মনে করি আমরা যখন কোনো স্টুডেন্ট আইডি জেনারেট করব फार्ष्टे इन लिखबर सेमिस्टर दीब 
তারপরে ডিপার্টমেন্ট একটা কোড থাকবে ডিপার্টমেন্ট কোড দিব তারপরে একটা তার সিরিয়াল নাম্বার দিব হ্যাঁ এর মানে কি নতুন কোন স্টুডেন্ট আসলে তুমি তো 2021 সালে ভর্তি হইছিস তাহলে 2021 তুমি স্প্রিং সামারে ভর্তি হইছিস তাহলে একটু তোমার ডিপার্টমেন্ট বি 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 হয়তো 20 কোড এটা কোড ধরে নিছে তাহলে তোমার তুমি ভর্তি হইছিস এখন পাঁচ নম্বরে ধরে তোমার আইডি তাহলে তোমার আইডি হবে অথবা হাইফেন না দিও হতে পারে 2021 সরি 2021 to 20 05 এর मीनिंग থাকে কিন্তু হ্যাঁ এজন্য বি বি এবং অর্গানাইজেশন তারা ডিফারেন্ট এখন আমি ফোন নাম্বার দিয়ে তো আসলে এই যে ফ্লেভারটা আমি দিতে চাচ্ছি এই ফ্লেভার তো ফোন নাম্বার দিয়ে আমি দিতে পারবো না স্যার এটা দিয়ে আমি পাবো না স্যার আমি ওইটাতে সহজে আরো খুঁজে বের করতে পারবো আমার আমার একটা মিনিং আছে আইডি পিছনে কিন্তু देयर इज अ লজিক বিহাইন্ড দিস আইডি রাইট স্যার কি ইজিলি ডিটেক্টিভ ওকে ইফ আই ইফ ইউ সে স্যার মাই আইডি ইজ 2015 2015 1 फरें and what is foreign key how to define the foreign key are the column of the table which is used to find the primary key of another table so amra jeta bolchi je amra foreign ka adher ke boli je bidesher ke ekjon bangladeshi ashlo take boli foreign ekhane concept ta tai mone koro tumi tripoli department study koro ekhon tumi jodi csc department e tumi study karo tumi tripoli te jodi jao tale tumi ki hobe tader jonno ekta foreigner mane foreign onno ke baire ke okay so foreign ke concept ta holo je amra eta ke practically dekhabo ekhon just idea ta bole di idea ta holo tumi jara csc te poro tumi jodi bba te jao tale tomar je ekta idea ache tale tomar idea ta ki tale tader kache tomar ei idea ta hobe foreign डिपार्टमेंट সরি এই ডিপার্টমেন্টের আইডি টা এখানে হলো প্রাইমারি কি আর যখন এটাকে এখানে লিখেছো দ্যাট ইজ দা ফরেন কি সো লুক এট দিস ডায়াগ্রাম হিয়ার ডিপার্টমেন্ট আইডি দ্যাট ইজ দা প্রাইমারি কি सेम ডিপার্টমেন্ট আইডি ইন দিস টেবিল দিস ইজ কলড দা ফরেন কি ফর एग्जांपल ইউ ডিপার্টমেন্ট ফর দা অল স্টুডেন্ট ডিপার্টমেন্ট আইডি রিমেইন सेम বাট হোয়েন দিস ডিপার্টমেন্ট আইডি ট্যাগস দা ইট গোস টু দা স্টুডেন্ট টেবিল দা ইন দ্যাট কেস দা ডিপার্টমেন্ট আইডি দ্যাট ইজ দা ফরেন কি আই থিং ইজ দ্যাট ক্লিয়ার রাইট নাও So here, yeah, uh, this is one of the year diagram based on that. Actually, uh, that will be uh, that will be discussed later on. In this diagram, I am not sure to what it is. That is well. Uh, so now here you can see the student. This is the entity. Because both are for multiple, na? Because different is a bit different. I am sure. I am to me. Are it to hold the power? So you have to enter a specific code. रिलेशन मीन कर বলো তো এটা কি মিন করেছে যে এটা এটা এগুলা এখানে কেন প্রাইমারি কি তামন্নার পরে কি আছে সিরিয়ালে 
स्टूडेंट दिस इज वेरी जेनरल बट once you say let's say employee this is general but employee is a tester sorry tester and developer cool both are employee in this case which is a specialization right so generalization means hello i'm just a student ke khatre example de dekho it's a top down and bottom up approach nothing else the approach of let's say student is a csc bba chan bolo lo you are the student of you all are student of the southeast university right so the, this is generalization generalization is a top up approach this is called top up upor dike jacche generalization is a bottom down bottom down kani niche dike asteche so jodi student ke bhag kore bolo csc er bba tale eta ki holo eta khub specific holo tai na that is called the specialization e gulo mone maybe you know are uh, very well okay so let's start The other thing is that the generalization is generalization concept is very critical. Another is the aggregation. So you try to understand the aggregation uh, concept in different point of view, and these things is very clear. You know the what is the relation? So similar things. It, it is a repeated of the relation. So now you just now try to understand the aggregation with example and read it out. just read it out the aggregation and if it is clear give me a example regarding the aggregation so uh, now let's move on okay before going to uh, discuss about the next topics i would like to give you one of the very uh, short example exercise that exercise okay dear let's see how we can draw the ear diagram right This is our next topic. Is draw the ear diagram. Ear diagram means entity relationship diagram, right? Entity relationship diagram. So you have to identify the different entity. Let's say if you think about the uh, teacher, first you have to read the scenario. First you have to read the scenario. What the scenario? And this scenario actually comes from the industry. and from the industry point of view you have to understand first you visit any industry ebong shekhane giye tader je total golpo ta tader je scenario ta scenario bolte bujhay oi business ta kibhabe chole pura ta ke lekha thake scenario boli ekta golpo boli to amra real life e to ultimately amra to ebhabe theoretical kichu dewa thakbe na golpo ekhono to that scenario is given but in real life point of view you have to create the scenario from the real environment all real uh, business operation लिटिलिंग you visit coaching center ekhon tumi coaching center visit kore ki dekhla je ekhane kichu teacher ache and that teacher teaches courses you know course tara study kora taile amra ki bolte pari teacher teaches courses right and students enroll courses every semester a simple example ta amra jodi nei tale eta theke amra year diagram ta kibhabe draw korte pari this is the scenario tale first we have to identify the attribute the like sorry we have to identify the entity the like entity ki teacher course student any student student entity but onno gula keno entity nei amader to confusion er jonno semester te bad diye di sheti better yes sir for the time na amar ekhon intention to onno ta so etake ekhon ei entity gula ke amra 
এন্টিটি কে আমরা কি দিয়ে রিপ্রেজেন্ট করি আহ ইয়ে বলতে পারো রূপা डायग्राम যেমন আমি দেখালাম এটা একটা সিম্পল ইয়ার ডায়াগ্রাম 